in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Today is the feast of Saint Irenaeus. He was a bishop in Lyon, in France. He worked for Church Unity and he was very instrumental in helping to finalize what was the scripture and what was not scripture, especially in the New Testament. And um, many, many uh, traditions say he was martyred as well. So we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. We acknowledge our sins, we acknowledge the mercy and the love of God. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us into healing and life everlasting. Let us pray. The law of truth was in his mouth, O God, who called Saint Irenaeus, the confirmed true doctrine and the peace of the Church. Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that being renewed in faith and charity, you may always be intent on fostering unity and concord. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. Fasten your attention on holiness, faith, love and peace, in union with all those who call on the Lord with a pure mind. Avoid these futile and silly speculations, understanding that they only give rise to quarrels, and the servant of the Lord is not to engage in quarrels, but has to be kind to everyone, a good teacher and patient. He has to be gentle when he corrects people, for dispute what he says, never forgetting that God may give them a change of mind, so they may recognize the truth and come to their senses once out of the trap where the devil caught them and kept them enslaved. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The mouth of the just murmur wisdom. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire. The mouths of the just murmur wisdom. Commit your life to the Lord, trust in him and he will act, so that your justice breaks forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun. The mouths of the just murmur wisdom. The just man's mouth utters wisdom, and his lips speak what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, his steps shall be saved from stumbling. The mouths of the just murmur wisdom. Alleluia, alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. All who live in me and I in them will bear much fruit. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us and you as you are in me and I am in you. So that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one. With me in them and you in me, May they be so completely one that the world will realize it was you who sent me and that I have loved them as much as you loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am so that I may always see the glory you have given me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them and will continue to make it known so that the love with which you loved me may be in them and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
St. Irenaeus lived at a time when there were heresies going around. And he certainly worked to bring the peace of the church. He also was instrumental in helping us have the New Testament as we know it. One of the ones who was instrumental in doing that. And there is uh, some possibility, we are not sure on this, that he was actually martyred for his faith. Whatever, he was a great example of living the life of a Christian person, a great pastor, and one who fought for the unity of the church in a way that was loving, respectful, and caring. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name for our good and the good of God's holy church. May the sacrifice we offer you with joy on the heavenly birthday of Saint Irenaeus bring you glory, O Lord, and instill in us a love of all the truths, so that we may keep the church's faith inviolate and her unity secure. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the festival of St. Irenaeus, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be pulled out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, Eugene, our Emeritus Bishop, all the clergy who serve your people and your entire family. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may through your grace merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Through these sacred mysteries we pray, O Lord, give us in your compassion an increase in the faith which brought glory to the Bishop St. Irenaeus as he maintained it ever until death. And may the same faith bring to us who truly follow it justification in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the peace and the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain always with you. Let us go and live the gospel. Thanks be to God. God bless your day. Amen.